The community reacts tonight after a jury acquitted Brandon Cervera of starving his son to death. Since the news of the verdict broke, many of you have reacted, and some of you shocked. As soon as that not guilty verdict was read, we asked you, what do you think about it? Several hundreds of you voted in our viewer poll when we asked, do you agree with the Cervera verdict? And more than 90% of you saying that you don't agree with it. You've also been chiming in by way of social media. Sandra saying, quote, I don't know you, Benji. Rest in peace, but I wish I could have helped you. It's so hard to look at your pictures. And Natalie was questioning the verdict altogether, even as it came back as unanimous as criminal trials are required to. Natalie saying, how was he found not guilty? Who did this to that baby? It should also be pointed out that Benji's stepmother, Miranda Caceres, was sentenced to 25 years in prison earlier this year in connection to Benji's death. Well, today, Brandon Cervera is a free man, and tonight he gave an interview to News for San Antonio's Marisa Mendoza. He talked about the regrets that he still has. I never got to tell Benjamin that day that I loved him, and I'm going to regret that for the rest of my life. Fighting back tears, Brandon Cervera says he's going to live life differently now. My mistake was focusing on a lot of work and being that provider when I should have been more of a being being there with my kids more. After a seven day trial and about seven hours of deliberation, Cervera was found not guilty for starving his four year old son, Benjamin. Cervera wants the public to know he's a hardworking dad who loves his kids. He still has two other children, a son who's in middle school and a daughter he had with Miranda Casares. I'm not with my kids for at least eight to ten hours of the day. I don't know exactly what's going on in the middle of the day. He says months before Benji's death, his relationship with Miranda Caceres, Benji's stepmom was changing. Cervera never thought she would ever hurt his son. I was already on the verge of leaving her. We already had so many arguments about the way she treated my son. Benji fell victim August of 2021, and a jury sentenced Caceres to 25 years in prison for his death. I got the call at 10.45 in the morning that my son was unresponsive. Then I drove like a madman to Santa Rosa, and at 11.32 is when they stopped working on him. There was this battle of wills between Miranda and a child with special needs, and, you know, she did something potentially to the child that we'll never know. Attorney Jody Sawyers says the trial should have never been about a father starving Benji. She says the locks shown by prosecutors allowed people to jump to conclusions. The fact that they're present doesn't mean they're used. And I think the state was using that as proof that the child had been deprived of food. But if and it's not because he's not being provided food, it's that he had this over this excessive hunger. Cervera says he's in therapy and won't rest until he finds out how Benji died. Benji died in August of 2021. Six months later, the Bear County Medical Examiner's Office ruled his death as starvation related. From the newsroom, Marisa Mendoza, News 4, San Antonio. In late this afternoon, we did hear from the Bear County District Attorney who released a statement that reads in part, quote, we respect the very difficult decision made by the jury in this case. Our hearts go out to the family. This community will not forget his tragically untimely loss. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to get all the latest news right here.